sekarang rasanya sangat panas. Jadi kami seperti nggak bertahan lagi untuk hidup di daerah yang semakin panas ini. Makanan di rumah hanya cukupnya dua hari begitulah. Terus apa sih nanti ini kalau habis? These are the stories of people living on the front lines of climate change. The risks and threats of climate change are real. This is not just some kind of projection. This is happening right now. Communities across Asia are constantly fighting a daily battle. Intense heat waves are killing thousands. Prolonged droughts are destroying livelihoods. Nắng khoảng tháng nữa chắc đường nhà mình chắc còn chừng 15 20 cây là giữ chứ không nữa. Mega cities have run out of water. Yeah, I'll be then solving. Adukku nam edru ponu adichi purichinave ponu and theruk anga ponu adichi panga vera. While people's homes sink into the sea. Yo nenge ne man. Mati urip ye nenge ne. This is 24 hours in the lives of those worst affected. Their resilience in the face of crisis. Sebenarnya masyarakat itu kalau diberi solusi untuk soal yang dialami, dia bisa melakukan lebih daripada apa yang kita pikirkan. This is the longest day. Tapi tanya mas, yo mau nani anu mas, ono banyu to mas, mau nani ke yo? Leh sanjang kamu nih binang, yo kelabi putih be katok biru. Ono mbak eh anu nih ke sidik 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 ono mas, kok terus bentahun kok sidik 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 kok tabah tabah terus sih mas. Terusan begini seperin ni, mas ra tabah tabah terus orang nol kendiate tabah. Ya tadi, ya sekali anu palit tak. Pasija and her family have lived on Indonesia's most populated island, Java, for over 20 years. They are in one of the worst-hit villages on the country's 80,000-kilometer-long coastline. Rising sea levels and land subsidence. Forced 500 families to relocate inland in search of higher ground. Only three families remain. Tak pengen terlalu masih pintu kedudur ke? Iki wc diabah mana ya mas? Wingi tu diabah wingi. Ini saya tidak boleh mengisi. Mau nani? Mau nani terbiar? Ki tak bater yang tak sah mini. Terus tahun 2000 siji mulai rob sitik sitik sitik. Kata mapa awet 2000 siji dah mas. Iki kata mapa 2000 piro. Rong puluh dah mas. Semangkin tabah terus. Nah esok ngeterke anak sekolah, ngunukui pelahan, ngunukui bujur bujur. Ngono nak anu telas kabeh, ngunukui mas. Rekosoni menurut mau paling rekosoi. Twenty years ago, the village of Bedono sat over five kilometers from the shoreline, 
and the family's home was surrounded by agricultural land and neighbors. Now it is being swallowed by the sea. In what was once a prosperous and fertile agrarian region, a landmass equivalent to over a thousand Indonesian farms has disappeared. Dari kelas 1 sampai kelas 3, dulu saya berangkat sekolah jalan kaki sampai kelas saya kelas 3 sampai hampir mau lulus itu saya diantar sama mak naik perahu. Karena jalannya udah rusak dan putus. Sudah tenggelam. On a windy day, it can take besieger up to one and a half hours to row to the nearest village. Nah, angin gede mas, terus terus nekat mas, terus nekat terpaksa mas, terus diterak terus. Wong mikir anak sekolah selak kawanan, nih pasar selak kawanan. Gue naik muni kawanan, ram menangi bakul. Anakku ram menangi motori trayek kawanan, kapiran. Nesrano kaki, ketara ombak kapir. Nesa ikir kosong mas ngene. Whilst this family must face their struggles alone, entire villages across Asia are finding themselves stranded. In the Bay of Bengal, very warm oceans and a silty landscape mean sea levels are rising almost three times faster than the global average. Four inhabited islands have disappeared in the past two decades, and entire villages have been cut off from the mainland. The Sundarbans is the largest mangrove forest on Earth and sits at the confluence of three rivers, the Ganges, the Meghna, and the Brahmaputra. This is one of the four boats that provides crucial medical care to the four and a half million people living in these isolated islands. The boats have never been in such high demand. Waterborne diseases are thriving in the stagnant waters, and the rising tides have blocked off access to hospitals on the mainland. The boat must depart at 8 a.m. sharp in order to reach the remote village of Gaboria in time. It hasn't been visited in over a week, and hundreds of people are awaiting the boat's arrival today. It will take one and a half hours to go there. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. With a team of doctors, Mohammed Wahab has worked across the vast network of waterways for over 23 years. We are sending our doctors and staffs with medicines to the doorsteps of the poor people. If people do not get facility, they cannot survive. The intervention of my organization, it is a very, very big step we have taken. Galvanized by his own childhood poverty, Wahab decided to help the people the government couldn't. With volunteer doctors, he founded the clinic at a tea stall outside Kolkata in 1980. Yeah, welcome. His charity now employs over 120 people and receives government funding to access some of the most remote places in India. We try our level best to help the people in Shumbhavan. Every day, there are 3,000 patients. They enroll their name in different clinics. Because of rising sea levels, the village of Gaboria is expected to be underwater in the next few years. But more pressingly, the meteorological department has announced storms are on the horizon. This is the time of typhoon, a storm. Any time cloud can come, a storm can come, you know, water will get into the island. This is a problem. As the doctors disembark, 
people are already rushing to reinforce vulnerable homemade mud embankments. A local storm warning, in effect for 48 hours, urges people to prepare for the worst. This could be one of the boat clinic's last visits to Gaboria in a long time. Sea level are not just rising in terms of their level, but also they're making extreme events such as rough climate events, high waves becoming more frequent in the future. Scientists have proven that warmer oceans have been influencing coastal wind patterns, which makes waves stronger and more dangerous. Cuaca di laut. Sangat buruk. Mau nelayan, takut ada gelombang besar. Today, like every day, Besiege's eldest son, Ishwan, faces a dilemma. He must confront his fears and go out to sea, or fail to provide food for his family. Biasanya pagi-pagi kayak gini, saya berangkat ke laut nyari ikan. Berhubung cuacanya ini buruk, ombaknya besar, kita... Cari ikan di laut juga susah. Saya dan bapak saya biasanya kalau cari di laut susah, cari ikan di sekitar rumah sini aja. Like more than 11 million Indonesians, the ocean is the 31-year-old's main source of income. Dari tahun ke tahun semakin berkurang. Harus uh, agak maju ke ke tengah ke tengah jadi kan ikan ikan pada minggir uh, ke tengah situ waktu itu saya pernah sih teroma karena cuaca buruk uh, badannya besar ada angin puting beliung Perahunya terbalik dan kita pun uh, kami masih teroma kami sa- terus nggak nelayan mau makan apa I think that's an interesting thing this one piece will make 52 layers watch on mobile devices or the big screen. All for free. No subscription required. Every morning, Pasija takes the fish her son Ishwan has caught from the day before and tries to sell it for a fair price at the local market. Sani cukup tu mas, ada lima kilo-kilo, jadi lima kilo, enam kilo, mas, sani cukup di Sopura. Besiege often has to ask the teachers for an extension on school fees when she is unsuccessful in the market. The majority of Badono's local population rely on this market to sell their fish, and there is a lot of competition. 
Most sellers finish the day with under 15 US dollars in their pockets. Saya berdagang ikan udah kurang lebih 22 tahun. Esther Coma used to be a large-scale fish trader. But when fish stocks started depleting, she had to downscale her business and move to Siang Market. Nelayan-nelayan lokal di sini makin sedikit. Kalau dulu banyak-banyak, sekarang udah beralih kerja di pabrik. Ada yang kerja itu bangunan itu. Ikan, cari ikan mudah dulu. Sekarang cari ikan di sana susah. Nah, makanya ikannya kan berkurang. Kalau dulu cuma lokal-lokal sini lah, yang lain lokal-lokal sini aja. Kayak ini tuh, Mas. Ini contoh ikan laut. Sekarang makin susah. In the next 20 years, fish catch is expected to decline by up to a third in Indonesia. Scientists have observed that marine organisms, both in the surface and deep oceans, are migrating forward. And this could be because of oceanic conditions, so temperature, uh, as well as um, things like ocean upwelling. So we are expecting and should expect that our fishery sector will be affected by climate change and people who rely uh, on these sectors uh, in both of, for their employment and also their food supply uh, will have to adapt to this trend. Aku kimu mas satu lima into bebut terong kilo setengah into duit terong satu sepitung kilo papat. Na ora disangu sekolah ya cukup terong dino mas. Na ra na disangu sekolah ya ora cukup. Into eh be orangnya akeh orangnya mas. Untuk pina aku seminggu kadang itu seminggu kadang rain tu. Rain tu yes. We mau mas, pomona ini itu agak tu mas, ya tak ingat ke di te, gimana sih so neng mono mas, mono we mau, pomona yang kau kimu tu mas, dosa mono kita tu mas, kau tak kebelajar si te, kau turah ni tak ingat ke mono mas. Days like these are becoming more frequent for Pasija, and her family are often left with empty stomachs. But for others living in flooded lands, the stakes are even higher. Life-threatening waterborne diseases are rife. In Gabaria village, Mohammed Wahab's mobile clinic is just opening its doors to patients. In order to return safely before dusk, the doctors only have three hours to treat over a hundred patients on the island. With a potential storm on the way, catching the brief time window in which the clinic stops on the island is crucial. Missing it means waiting for what could be weeks for urgent medical care. Yes. The patients usually come from very, very long distance. You can imagine from Jayanago to Namkhana, it is about 10, more than 10 kilometers. How many hours do you have to wait? No, no. You can't wait for the patient. You can't wait for the patient. You can't wait for the patient. In three hours, 100 patients, two minutes per patient. What kind of The people of Sundarban, they are sleeping each night three and a half foot under water. Because of the, of the sea level is higher now. If there are 100 patients, more than 50% patient patients are suffering with skin diseases. 50% stomach, fever, and 
Diarrhea, eh? diarrhea is often. As well as rampant disease, flooded farmlands have caused widespread malnutrition. Over half of children are stunted as a result of inadequate diets. Pregnant mothers are also particularly vulnerable, three quarters of them suffering from anemia. Due to drinking water insufficiency, they are suffering from vitamin deficiency. They are suffering from iron deficiency. Manisha is pregnant and regularly attends the clinic, worried that her baby might not be getting enough nutrients. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, March, you have a child in August. Do you have a child in August? No, I don't. I don't know. What do you do? 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 You can eat it, you can eat it. You don't have to eat it, you don't have to eat it, you don't have to eat it. Prenatal care in the Sundarbans is scarce, and the majority of mothers deliver their babies at home. We don't want to see the death face of a mother or the child. So we are keeping continuation of the services. We do not think what will be tomorrow. We believe in today, because tomorrow is too late. Whilst rising sea levels are cutting off people's access to basic medical care, they will soon pose a threat to the very existence of the Sundarbans. By 2100, the region is expected to be almost completely below sea level. In the village of Bodono, this has already happened. Sejak lahir kecil sudah tinggal di sini. Air laut. Dulu saya kecil. Dulu di kampung. Kami bisa buat kami main sepak bola, buat kami main layang-layang, kami buat apa tu? Main sepeda. Suasana sudah berubah. Garap sama mas, yo tadur, yo nadur jagung, yo nadur pukung, yo lobo, yo pari, yo enggak be garap tambah itu mas montra, sing sing saya kok anu, sing saya kono tambah eh, sing saya kene cisawa. Sekarang sudah enggak bisa lagi dan penghuninya. Cuma masih satu orang, yaitu keluarga saya yang masih bertahan. Mas Rano, mas tahun pokok RC atau mas paling keri Yunarti iki ngarbu iki mas 2010. Kita mah ngarbu kita mas tak anu tak eling eling Yunarti iki ngoconi aku mah tak 2010 itu terus wong yang ngalah sisa. In 2006. The government gave the villagers of Bodono some land to allow them to relocate away from the coast. But Besieger and her husband couldn't afford to rebuild a house elsewhere. Ya tak pengen ojo kelem mas, wes aku nahu ya, pemune anu ya sora ojo mas, mengaku nengkene diri yo.
Guduram Mundal is on his way home. He's been working since 5 a.m. He and his wife moved to Kolkata 15 years ago after water flooded their village on Sagar Island in the Sundarbans. Back in the mid-1990s, environmentalists called the people leaving the Sundarbans some of the world's first climate refugees. They have had to adapt to life in Kolkata, taking on jobs as a rickshaw driver and a housemaid. Together, they make four US dollars a day, enough to pay rent on a room big enough for a single bed. The Mondals used to own over three and a half square kilometers of land on Sagar Island. For the past 20 years, flooding has prevented them from farming it. The breaking of a dam upstream forced the Mundals into government shelters and then finally to Kolkata. Parts of Sagar Island now lie three meters underwater. Their eldest son still lives in the Sundarbans with his wife and children, but with no job to support them. Though small and cramped, the Mandals were lucky to find a home in Kolkata. Over a third of Calcutta's 14 million strong population live in slums, with poor sanitation and security. Much of this rapidly increasing slum population is made up of migrants who have left the Sundarbans in search of jobs and safety from natural disasters. Whilst millions across Asia's coasts will soon have to leave their homes, some still find seeds of hope in their flooded lands. Okay, Ali Mahmood is a mangrove plantation coordinator. He works for an NGO that strives to protect the local environment from coastal erosion. Untuk sekarang program penanam mangrove yang kita tanam ini sudah satu juta lima ratus ribu pohon. Ini untuk pohon mangrove ini tanaman tahun 2008 untuk jenisnya Risopora mukronata. Karena mangrove penting ya, memang penting sekali. The mangrove can be very useful and also very feasible, cheap 
solutions for local small community as a solution for sea level rise. They're essentially trees, but they have very complex root system. They trap sediments and keep up with the levels of sea level rise. It bukan hanya sebatas untuk sedimentasi ya, untuk fungsi ekonomi, jadi untuk fungsi yang lainnya banyak sekali jadi yang pertama bagus itu kemungkinan ikan atau udang kepiting itu juga juga semakin hari semakin bagus. Karena dalam slogan kami satu pohon yang kami tanam akan memberi manfaat bagi beberapa orang sekitar. Seperti itu. Ali is on his way to pick up Pasija and Ishwan, who have worked with him for 15 years. Kalau Bu Pasija di sini memang berperan utama di dalam melawan global war. Walaupun hampir semuanya masyarakat itu sudah relokasi, tapi beliau tetap bertahan karena apa? Untuk mempertahankan lingkungannya yang pertama. Ali's organization pays Pasija six US dollars for every 100 seeds she collects. Kita suruh menanam dari mulai beliau membibitkan, beliau membuat acir, beliau menanam itu kami serahkan 100 persen ke Pasija. Jadi lima lima ratus ribu pohon yang sudah ditanam beliau dengan kami. Local scale solutions can be very effective in many parts of Indonesia where uh, big infrastructures uh, may not be so visible. I do see patches of hopes when I travel within Indonesia. Really the power of local awareness. If people have incentive to protect the environment for whatever reasons, could be from ecology, but mostly for economic reasons. Those are the pockets of protected environments. Lagi pomerano mangrove itu mas, lah yo tetap prono to mas, neng gorawi, neng sodor, mas mangani umai wong kono, wong bayi. Yo aku bangga mas yang sing lindungi di sok ini, sing tukang nanduri, karo bocah-bocah. Di sini aku yo rodo rejo rodo mewah mas. Kalau proses menanam mangrove itu memang besar sekali mas risiko. Yang pertama adalah jadi menemas pinggang, masuk air laut, kemudian berat sekali mas. Whilst the process of planting is grueling, once completed. The mangroves are extraordinarily resistant. The goal is to form a green belt of protection along the coast of Bodono. Harapan kami, kami menanaman hari ini, lima tahun, sepuluh tahun yang akan datang, tanaman yang kami tanah tetap akan tumbuh. Kalau saya tetap optimis untuk selalu menjaga, melindungi, merawat, dan menanam mangrove yang ada di Desa Bedono, kemudian umumnya itu di Kabupaten Demak. Kami optimis. Mungkin desa-desa yang lain, ini untuk Timbul Soko, di Kecamatan Bunda juga sudah banyak itu, kalau di sana tanamnya sudah besar, jadi untuk tingkat abrasinya mungkin kecil. Ali strongly believes that villagers can take the problem of rising sea levels into their own hands. Itu kemungkinan kalau memang tidak ada penanganannya dari penanganan dari pemerintah, itu kemungkinan abrasi ini juga akan merambah ke eh, sabuk pantai ini atau pemecah gelombang ini memang besar anggarannya. Kalau kami hanya sebagai jembatan untuk memoti, memotivasi masyarakat, pada dasarnya kita sebagai manusia ya Mas. Jadi manusia itu adalah halifah untuk menjaga lingkungan, menjaga alam. Mungkin memang ini kembali lagi ke kita semua, jadi berbalik ke kita.
Lha aku kok nak pindah atau Mas sapa sing kersa Mas? Bentaune kon kuwi nandur pembibitan mangkrup kuwi. Ya ning kene Mas. Mati urip ya seneng kene. Kerjaane ning kene Mas. Whilst almost all the residents moved out of Badono 10 years ago, Pasija and her family of five still struggle to survive in the flooded village in Damak, Java. With sea level rise and land subsidence accelerating rapidly, the family could be fighting a losing battle. Sekarang jam setengah enam, air mulai masuk ke rumah. Air biasanya naik sampai setengah satu meter. Setiap malam saya ngerasa sangat kedinginan karena di bawah tempat tidur saya ini ada airnya. Kodria is Pasija's only daughter. She is 17 years old and will graduate from high school next year. Ini agenda kegiatan saya dan ini jadi mata pelajaran saya di sekolah. She's part of a whole generation of young people who will decide whether to remain in the region or seek better opportunities elsewhere. Ya sekarang enggak memang enggak ada teman, tapi kan ya karena tenang. Dan di sini ada beberapa buku pelajaran dan beberapa koleksi novel saya. Saya suka baca novel karena isinya novel banyak yang berkaitan dengan kehidupan sehari-hari. Salah satu novel yang saya suka adalah karyanya Terelie yang berjudul Dia adalah kakakku menceritakan tentang seorang kakak yang memiliki keterbelakangan khusus yang berusaha untuk menjadi adik-adiknya dan berusaha untuk menjalani kehidupannya. Kodria has hopes to leave her home and complete her education in the capital city Jakarta. Kedepannya setelah lulus SMA, saya beringinan kuliah jurusan sastra bahasa Indonesia karena saya ingin menjadi seorang penulis. Setelah lulus kuliah, nanti bekerja, setelah itu bisa beliin rumah juga untuk orang tua. Ya, karena sudah terlalu lama di desa ini dan menyendiri. When young people leave their villages to educate themselves, they often don't return. By 2030, 60% of the world's population will live in cities. In rural areas, the elderly and the very young will be left fending for themselves. Luckily, the storm hasn't hit today, and Mohammed Wahab's team is able to make it back to the port before dusk. The team is exhausted. They have worked tirelessly for little reward. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. We have only four or five boats. To cover Sundarbans, it needs more boats. But it is very costly. Very costly. A lack of medical staff in the region has left Wahab fighting overwhelming odds. The small government funding just isn't enough. In some districts in the Sundarbans, there is just one doctor for every 100,000 people. Nobody is willing to come here. There are many super specialty hospitals made by government, but there is no doctor. They never like to come in the forest. I'm sad when educated people live in Sundarbans and live in other places. We are doing our best, but it is not adequate. We need support. We need support. In Pasija's family home, conversations about staying or leaving happen almost every night. 
Malah ki umai ki ki anu eh apa jenane tol kita eh aku kurung kurung ki tangguli ki neng jopo eh umai ki ngok bakal eh orang lewat neng sah jerun ni. Yes, ni serap apa pola? Pokok dipikir, pokok diduhurati. Yo aku tak niati neng kene yo umai ki yo di ob di roba. Pokok diduhurake kita ngapa aku bini. Umah ik sih yo niatnya dirawat rawat aman biasa ni aman biji, boleh di dandani, boleh di durke, boleh di cendek ke, mana tu? Oh, macam cendek ke, durke tu yo. Kalau macam dia di cendek ni, yo. Hahaha. 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 Ini kan mas munggah rong meter, otomatis kan yo. Bubra ini meter ini. Menurutmu ya nak rumah ini bakal le kelam soalnya tanggul ini kan sah jago rumah ini, tak sah jero ini. Yo pindah way lah. Mas aku tak nyati neng ini. Kerek bucah bucah kono, bucah yo nak mentas yo monggo lah tu yo. Kerek nganut mak ane po boleh nggun diri kono. Just days after our crew filmed in the Sundarbans and Kolkata, unusually warm sea surface temperatures caused one of the most devastating and deadly cyclones in West Bengal's history. The house in which the Mongol son lives with his family was hit, and whilst the family was unhurt, the roof of their home collapsed. My entire life, I have spent in Sundarban. I have not seen so much devastation and destruction of gigantic proportion. Our poor mobile boat dispensary was not been able to function due to the damage they sustained in Cyclone Ampan. Most of our mud house of poor people were washed away. Disaster comes and goes, but there is some disaster which gets imprinted in your mind forever.